He might not be a saint, and we are not looking for a saint. We can't find a saint. None of us is a saint. But I think he looks, sounds, and appears like someone we can give some trust to. And we see all what he has revealed to us in terms of how he intends to save costs in governance, what he has revealed to us in terms of how leadership in this country has been wasteful, and so on. He has told us about how, 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 how governors will hire private jets to go to Abuja, when they could have flown economy class. You hire a private jet, pack it in Abuja for three, four days. You pay all the fees you are supposed to pay there, and so on. At the end of the day, millions are spent in just mere days. You don't give a damn. The same governor doing that is owing teachers' salary. The same governor doing that has not paid pensioners. The same governor doing that is busy complaining he has no money. But you see the way they spend. Convoy 50 vehicles, 30 vehicles, 20 vehicles. What are you doing with this convoy? Where are you going to? You are invited from your city to Abuja. You are going with 20 men. Were you not the only one invited? We are 20 people invited. Look, Nigeria is broke because of the wastages and leakages in governance. And we need somebody who can exhibit some level of prudence and positive frugality at the running of government. Those are the sort of people we need. Not people who will be throwing parties every day. We've just got to be serious. All this while we have not been serious. And the time has come to begin to interrogate and hold leadership, you know, to, 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 to ransom. Leadership must be accountable. That's oh, just it. But when some of us talk this way, it appears as if, oh, this guy is being rude to leadership. He's not being rude. He's asking about his rights. He elected you as a leader, and he's telling you you are doing all the wrong things. All the wrong things. 